Black NIH, NLM Logo 3D Anatomy. 3D images of a human head, intestines, and hip bones. Woman at a computer viewing the NLM 3D Anatomy website. Two professionals viewing the NLM VHM Intrinsic Respiratory System page on a computer. 3D scans and animations of a human body shown. Shot of a banner at a presentation with a text. National Library of Medicine. Image of PubMed website. Kristen Brown, Project Architect, NLM 3D. NLM 3D is a free online library of 3D models that have been derived from scientific imaging. Being the National Library of Medicine, we want to put out resources that are accurate and reliable so that we're a trustworthy source of information. So coming from an imaging set, that means this data is as accurate as we could possibly make it while making a model usable. Jeremy Swan, Biomedical Communication Specialist, NIH. Everybody goes to NLM for information, written formats like PubMed and searching abstracts, but what is really needed in the scientific community today is visual information to help support their needs to communicate their science. Shot of 3D image of a femur being removed from hip and replaced with a medical implant. Examples of people using the data, medical pamphlets, 3D printed models of human hearts and skulls, someone playing a virtual reality game using an Oculus headset and controllers, and someone playing with a 3D heart model on their smartphone individual working with virtual reality 3D model of human hand bones. We see just about anyone being able to use this data. The first thing people think of are like medical doctors and anatomy instructors who have this immediate interest in anatomy. So they'd be able to build simulators, they'd be able to build um, educational materials like textbook figures or animations. You can output a physical model that you can hold, but it doesn't have to be someone at quite that advanced a level. Even just a teenager who was interested in learning how to build games or web apps would be able to go into the site, download a model, and it also has this added bonus of having all this educational content that covers the background of the anatomy and the background of 3D modeling. Currently, there are not really a lot of data sets that are available that are scientifically accurate. It's really a rare combination of skills to find somebody who is capable of processing data to create three-dimensional models. You have to be able to know how to identify the structures that are in the image. Um, you have to be able to trace them out of there, and then you get the model, and it's usually pretty rough. So then you have to have a totally different skill set that's in 3D modeling and design to be able to make them look aesthetically good, but also have them be usable in any 3D software packages to do application development. Woman drawing on a digital table, tracing elements of the human body and editing them on screen with anatomical models and background. NIH, U.S. National Library of Medicine website with the text shown, a platform for biomedical discovery and data-powered health strategic plan 2017 to 2027. Text shown, goal one, accelerate discovery and advance health by providing the tools for data-driven research. Individual using menu on website to select a human skull model. NLM3D fits really well into the new NLM strategic plan. It's all about data sharing. When you share data, you want it to be findable, accessible, interoperable, reusable, which is the main driving factor behind this site, is to really accelerate discovery and accelerate the development of health and science applications. White NIH, NLM Logo 3D Anatomy. 